Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bass and today we're headed underwater. We're going to go watch how bass interact with different lures. There's always so much information to be learned watching bass interact with lures and with one another underwater. It's unbelievable what you can take away from that. Uh, today I have selected a handful of clips all for different reasons. They all highlight something about a bass's behavior. Maybe it's their brutality. Uh, maybe it's how they interact with one another while hunting. Maybe it's just the way that they eat a particular bait. But I've chosen each one of these clips so that we can look at an aspect of bass behavior. This first clip, this is one of my all time favorite clips. This bass is hunting a whopper plopper in open water. This bass is over seven pounds and it truly just highlights the pure hunting ability of a largemouth bass. This next clip is really interesting. This fish is interacting with a jig, and I notice a couple things going into it. One, pay attention to that Elaztec Z-Man material on that trailer. Uh, but two, it's fascinating the way this fish is so precise until it gets angry. And then once it's angry, it couldn't care less about the camera, it's willing to run into a camera to catch its prey. This next clip is one of the most interesting things Tim and I have ever captured underwater. We didn't even know that this happened at the time. We just saw the topwater bite. We had no idea until we got back and were analyzing the footage after the fact that what really went on here is a three pounder was hunting a whopper plopper and a seven pounder got upset about it and decided to attack the three pounder. This next clip is interesting because it really highlights that cat and mouse game between a bass and its prey. This little TRD craws minding its own business. The bass is casually watching, but as soon as that craws makes a move to escape, that's that bass's moment. This next one is going to be an underwater jerk bait, specifically the Jackal Re-Range. Here, I want you to pay attention to the flash coming off the bait because we talk a lot about flash with our jerk baits and how throwing light can pull fish to the bait. If you've ever thrown a big swim bait, 
you've had that moment where you're winding that bait and you get that dong, just that brutal bite. You swing and there's nothing there. And then you get your swim bait back and you look and there's no teeth marks, but you notice little tiny teeth marks up on the head. And a lot of us have wondered, what is that? How does that happen? This next clip explains that. This bass is headshotting a Huddleston 68, hitting it right in the face. And this fish is truly impossible to hook. This next clip makes the cut simply because it's awesome. This is a six plus pounder in open water attacking a hollow body frog. This next one, this is the TRD Bugs, and you're watching a smaller spotted bass. Spotted bass are just little snipers. I mean, they are so good at what they do. They're such effective hunters and feeders. This fish, the moment that little craw gets to the bottom, he's on it. Our next clip is a dark sleeper. The dark sleeper is one of our favorite swim baits, small swim baits of all time, especially when it comes to targeting smallmouth bass. This smallmouth, like so many others, wants that dark sleeper so bad, it's willing to run into the camera to get it. This next clip is looking at the interaction between a bass and a bluegill, specifically a Savage Gear RTF bluegill. This bass comes in, scoops that bait up, and while you would think that swim bait would be too much for that bass, in two gulps, it's gone. Now this next one is our last clip. I've watched this clip countless times through the years and I'm still not 100% which bass actually got the top water. This is a perfect example of schooling bass, aggressive bass, fighting to get to a meal first. And truly, I'm not 100% sure which one even catches the top water. Hope you guys enjoyed these clips. You know, the, the winter cold has settled in. Uh, a lot of us are still able to fish, some aren't, but there's always things to be learned by going underwater. And today, I thought we'd just take a break. I pulled some of my favorite clips, and I'm sure now that you've seen them, you understand why some of those are my favorites. Uh, but I tried to get different styles of bait so that we could watch the fish interact with jerk baits, topwaters, frogs, swim baits, small creatures, jigs, 
watching their behavior and how it's a little bit different in each situation, particularly when there's more than one bass fired up and that competition kicks in and they start trying to get the same lure. It's really incredible to watch that. Whether they both go for the lure or if one goes for the lure and the other one goes for the other fish, regardless, it's amazing to watch those interactions. Guys, in the video description, I'll link all the baits that were in the video in the order that they appeared. So if there was something there that was interesting to you, you know, a particular color, we'll link the bait and the color, the trailer, those sorts of things in the order that they appeared. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.